What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe Money Financial Channel and welcome to your second stimulus check update for Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. As you can tell, I switched up the background a little bit, came outside, and this is truly going to be a little bit more of an informal stimulus check update. So if you find any value from this video, if you learn anything new, consider hitting that like button below for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps push this video out to a much larger audience. First article I wanted to share with you is from Fox Business and the title is Americans Should Expect Another Stimulus Package Top White House advisor says. So even though we did have that May job support that showed a shocking 2.5 million jobs added, White House advisor Kevin Hassett um, said during a virtual summit held by the Wall Street Journal on Tuesday that chances of a phase four stimulus package are, his quote, his words, very, very high even if signs of recovery continue to manifest in the US economy. So Hassett told them that even though that we might start to see some benefit and start to see some reopening of the economy and even maybe some jobs being added, that they're still gonna to look to stimulate the economy to make sure it actually, as in his words, take off. Another article here from Politico, social distancing will suppress recovery despite emergency aid. And that's from the Congressional Budget Office, the CBO chief. So CBO Director Philip Swagel also said in a letter to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that additional emergency emergency aid for state and local governments would increase the federal deficit, but it would help reduce the size of tax hikes and budget cuts that governors and local officials will be forced to consider. And at the end of the day here, that is what's going to actually happen here. States, there's no doubt states have a budget shortfall as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, and they have one of two options here. They need to get some money from the federal government to, to fix that shortfall, or they're going to have to raise taxes, and that's going to impact their local economy and the people in their state. So as states open up, they are going to see more infections. That's just, I think, a natural byproduct. The question is whether or not we're going to see a massive second wave as a result of the economy reopening. But the CBO chief was saying here that even if we reopen, that the social distancing we're going to have to implement and continue practicing is going to cause a problem because it's going to keep business somewhat muted. The CBO chief goes on to say that as long as some degree of social distancing remains in place, the economic boost that might be expected from recent legislation will be smaller than it would be during a period of economic weakness without social distancing. That's the truth. Social distancing will cause business to not be as good as it would be without social distancing practices. If you're limited to having 20 people in your store as opposed to 50, well, that's going to cause an impact to your business. Big news of the day, Fed Chief Jerome Powell, after completing his most recent policy meeting this morning, he's going to have a press conference today. He's going to release his details and report on what the forward-looking um, outlook is. An article from Reuters says that the Federal Reserve completed its latest policy meeting on Wednesday with attention turning from its massive response to the coronavirus pandemic and toward its still developing plans to strengthen and lengthen an economic recovery. It's likely that Fed Chief Jerome Powell is going to say continue to spend money as much as you can to help prop up this economy given what's going on. It's likely that Fed Chief Jerome Powell will also keep interest rates at historic lows and provide whatever support is necessary to keep the economy on track. At the end of the day, the Fed Chief can only do so much to prop up the economy. He has to rely on Congress and the president to make sure that enough money, enough stimulus is going into the economy to keep it propped up, given what we've got going on here, which is an unprecedented crisis. Lastly, there's been no change in the outlook regarding a second stimulus check. We have a massive divide between how Republicans and Democrats think we should handle this crisis. Republicans are taking a wait and see approach. Democrats are pushing for stimulus right now. I think the problem that Republicans are going to run into, though, is they want to hold off until after the July recess, but that leaves three weeks to get a deal done before they leave again and in August. So the Senate's going to have three weeks to work after the July recess, but the House of Representatives is only going to have two weeks. And after they leave, they're going to be gone for a month. So there's a very real possibility that if they can't agree on a phase four package during those two weeks that they're there together, that no deal gets done until September. As we continue to get more information coming out of Congress, from the White House, from the Federal Reserve, we will continue to jump in front of the camera and let you know about it. But now is your opportunity to leave your two cents in the comments below. Do you think that the federal government should be using stimulus to prop up states and local governments or should states and local governments be burdened with raising taxes to take care of their own local economy? Do you think it's a mistake for Republicans to wait on acting on the stimulus or do you think that it's the right idea to wait and see to see kind of where the economy is at in a few weeks as opposed to where it is right now? Do me a favor, leave your two cents in the comments below. So if you haven't done it yet, how have you not done it yet? Make sure to hit that subscribe button below and click on the notification bell to be alerted to all of my weekly videos. In addition to daily stimulus check updates, I also put out two to three personal finance videos each and every week designed to help the average Joe out there 
people like you and me with all things personal finance, whether it's how to budget, how to pay off your consumer debt, how to invest for the future, and everything in between. If those topics resonate with you, hit that subscribe button and join the Average Joe and Money financial community. The great news for you is even though this video is about to end, the learning doesn't have to stop. You can click on these videos right over there.